Are you looking for a nice asset pack for your next web VR project? In this video, I'm going to show you the five places where I get my assets from. So let's go. The first one I want to show you is Quaternius. They have a lot of great 2D and 3D asset packs containing characters, weapons, vehicles, modular buildings, interiors, whatever you need. They're all low poly and fully textured. They come in FBX, OBJ and blend format and it's all released under a Creative Commons public license. So there's no copyright and you can use it in your commercial games. If you like the assets, please support them through Patreon. My favorite is the ultimate modular sci-fi pack because it is great and it can be used with Kenny's Asset Forge. That immediately brings me to the second one, Kenny. Kenny has a lot of 2D and 3D assets as well as sounds and GUI elements. 3D assets that I often use are buildings, vehicles, characters and even weapons. This one as well comes with a Creative Commons license. All models are in FBX and blend format. Kenny has also some great tools like Asset Force or Kenshape for example. That can be supported by buying the bigger packs on itch.io. And this takes us to the third one, itch.io. Itch.io is mostly known for hosting games and game jams. But there are also some great tools and assets on there. They have free and paid assets. Now on itch.io it can be somewhat harder to find the good ones. There's a lot of not so useful assets on there as well. But if you find them there are 3D models, texture and as I said some tools. My favorites are the K kits. These are similar to the packs made by Kenny and Caternius. The next one might be not so obvious as the first three. The Unity Asset Store. Even if you're not building your web VR games with Unity, you can still use the assets from the Asset Store. The only downside is you still need Unity to download the assets. But you need to keep an eye on the license. There are some packs that are not allowed to be used outside of Unity. But the only ones I have encountered are made by Unity themselves. Also, often packs contain things that are specific for Unity. Of course, those are not usable outside of Unity. But the models and the textures are often very usable in any other project. A lot of these packs come, for example, with FBX format. Now, in some engines, FBX might be a little bit harder to use, so you might need to convert those to GLB, for example. The last one I sometimes use is the Unreal Marketplace. Now, it might even be less obvious to use this one, because Unreal Engine doesn't even support WebXR. But they do have some assets you can use. One thing that is really cool about the Unreal Marketplace is that every month they have a couple of free assets. So if you're not even going to use those assets right away, make sure you just download them and add them to your account. Who knows, in the future you might need them. There are not that many useful assets on the Unreal Marketplace. And often they have a very high resolution. But there are a couple of gems out there. One of them which was a paid asset. I used in my Christmas game. It was an amazing pack. Again, you need to keep an eye on the license. Most of them can be used outside of Unreal, but a few are limited to use within Unreal only. Another downside is that you need to use Unreal to convert your assets to GLB or FBX. But if you do, they look amazing. I've got one last tip for you. You need to keep an eye out for Humble Bundles. These are great deals on assets. Links are in the description below. Make sure you leave a comment with your favorite source for assets and I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.